Hello, it's September 29th, 2017. This is the YouTube. And what you're looking at is this is my computer. So, um, I unplugged all the wires, but this is a, um, personal computer. It's got a lot of power. Um, it's got more power than a cell phone, and cell phones, like, pretty powerful. So I was thinking, like, if I compared this to the Apollo computer, there's no comparison. The, I, I got books on the Apollo computer, and I was studying it. Um, there's a book by the MIT Press called The Massively Parallel Processor. And I used to study that book. And then uh, when I was an engineer in Silicon Valley, and I realized that the book wasn't going to help me because the computer, the Apollo computer was a very basic computer. So going to Mars, um, you know, you could probably put one of these computers you know, you know, manned flight to Mars. So there's been an article released a few minutes ago. Uh, this is on um, Gears of Biz, and apparently a SETI dish from the UC Berkeley um, SETI project has discovered signals from FRB 12110, and here is the website for the Berkeley SETI Institute. I knew as soon as they would turn this on. They would probably find something like almost immediately. Uh, whoever it is that's trying to suppress the information hasn't really got to them. So today we have an article uh, from Elon Musk and there's a video there. Um, I'm gonna leave links in the descriptions for both of these. Uh, Elon Musk is having his um, plan for Mars right here. Um, and, you know, we have the technology. So what kind of um, computer and guidance would you need to go to Mars? Let's say you decided to go to Mars really cheaply. So, um, uh, let's say you could get a an high altitude balloon to float up your Mars aircraft, right? So you would leave um, Earth orbit from the, a high altitude balloon. So uh, up until you left the uh, Earth satellites, you could use all the GPS and like a cell phone or something. So um, a computer like this, you would have to have it 
space hardened for radiation and uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so let's say you built a cabinet around it and everything like that and you get into your Mars craft so the fastest rockets would be like um, a year's voyage so um, what happens if you had a breakthrough in technology and you you know got to Mars or whatever a few minutes maybe a few hours or weeks right and so you land on Mars with your Mars craft. Um, you would still need like a base or a docking port or everything like that. So um, you could probably get water. There's water in the soil there. There's some pictures that show tree the possibility of trees there uh, coming out of the snow. I'll try to uh, find that link and post it up there. Um, but so you'd need to grow some food or have some food supplies or something like that. So it's not out of the realm of like an individual to go to Mars. Uh, if you had a personal breakthrough in technology, um, you would still need a base there. So it's um there is a project to go to mars and establish like a base there you know and then this elon musk would fly you to mars along with virgin galactic but um with the seti signals um that they're detecting you know that's that's an interesting possibility that there might be um, once you get out there you might find that Mars is already populated 